Hello people, welcome to the Intel iMac Adventures episode I honestly can't remember. I want to say seven, but that very well could be wrong. But, today is the day. CPU upgrade. Here's some RAM that I just stole from that laptop and I haven't put anything in. Um, yeah, and I'm lazy. I haven't put that in my wallet yet. But, point still stands. Today's the day that hopefully I'll be able to run modern macOS, running modern applications for all your modern needs. And yeah, so I'm going to start with the RAM because that's boring and I could have done it forever ago. But excitement always comes last. In my priorities, I think this screwdriver is fine, believe it or not. Shouldn't look like it is, but I've used like big screwdrivers on this before. So I'll see you in a sec. Got the door off, time to get the RAM out of this. If I can get it out. It's a place to pull on these, right? I'm not losing my mind. So I'm going to have to try and grab them because that's not coming out. That did though, <laughs> which is something at least. Um, oh, there we go. So these are two one gig sticks and time to pop in the... Um, yeah, I've also got this confusingly last studio off read, so I don't want that. But yeah, let's get to work. Okay, RAM upgrade complete. Now, next step is to get the glass off, which shouldn't be too much of a deal. There's plenty of times before fiddling about with this and so on. Boom, glass is off. And... I shall chuck it there, I guess. Okay. Now for the unscrewing part. Okay, so I need to apparently remove stock Bluetooth to prevent panics. I, I knew this was coming. I thought it was Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. But it just says Bluetooth. Maybe, like, Wi-Fi doesn't work on newer versions, but, you know, it doesn't cause panics. I like the Bluetooth. I'm assuming the Bluetooth's this little bit here and um, I'm just getting a bit of dust out of the here as well um but um god you think oh yeah there won't be much more dust than in it just feels like fills up um yeah so go remove this might as well do it now um, find a screwdriver that's appropriate. Hopefully I can find one. That one probably would do. And unscrew it basically. Even that's a bit too big, boringly. That's T7. But don't worry, I'll get that sorted. I've also got a pot here. Which is magnetic, so I don't need to worry about me knocking it over and then screws being everywhere which is nice because there's a somewhat decent chance that I could knock it over you know but yeah let's get to work removing the screen and unplugging it and making sure I plug it back in when I reassemble all of this okay so I've as you can probably see I've taken out the board I've sort of given it a bit of a D dust not fully because there's so much dust in here it's ridiculous but it's an iMac that's been dis disassembled and all I gotta do is do a few more screws still quite a bit it seems um pop in the new CPU and fingers crossed it all just works that's probably not a very good thing to say but I said it um, but yeah, 
So I shall unscrew it and I shall try and film the process of putting the new CPU in. Also, where is the new CPU? It's there. That was a bit worrying. <laughs> yeah, dust is just going up, flying everywhere. So let's get this sorted. There it is. There's the current CPU. The one that will be going out of this machine. And in its place will be the new one. Um, also, I did end up screwing out an additional screw earlier. Turns out it's the screw that held the heatsink for the CPU in. Which is um, nice, I'll, I'll take it. So, what do? If I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, is twist this. CPU. Oh god, is that pins? Oh god, it is. Ah! Uh, I've now got to work out which way the CPU goes, so I've also got to unpack it as well. So, that's something. I do apologise for this not being the greatest angle, but... Who got it? I should have picked up the thermal paste. Um, oops. So there's a bit of thermal paste on the board, it seems. Get it off. There you go. It's loose. It's a bit there still, but shouldn't be the end of the world. And that should be in. Well, push it in, of course. And that should be the new CPU. I just need to screw it in. Um, which I can do right now. And then I'll grab the um, thermal paste. Of course, I might as well go for the GPU's thermal paste, I guess. Oh, oh, well, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of so annoyed at how long this has taken. I sort of just want to skip the GPU that's sort of off camera. Um, just because this has taken, God knows how long. It's really, it's way more trickier. Then I thought it's probably one of the trickiest things. Well, okay, maybe not trickiest, more like time consuming. The only real problem was the power cable for the board from you know the PSU to this board. I was I was struggling to get out, and the reason why was because I was grabbing the wrong section of it. Um, but yeah, so I should probably just um. Scrape this off. That's what I do with a screwdriver. Shouldn't matter too much if I scratch it. There we go. So this will be for the fresh thermal paste. Um, just a bit of dust in there. Yeah, I oh mean, God, there is a lot of dust in here. Not sure if you can see. You can still see these sections down here. Um, I really don't have like compressed air or whatever it's supposed to use to grab the dust, which is why my stuff still looks like a lot of my computers still look atrociously dusty it's because of that. But it is what it is, I guess. But hey, I've got down to what well, one. All I gotta do is well, thermal paste and then. Pop it on. Nice and easy. I guess I should probably clear out the thermal paste on the old CPU. Just make sure that clean. Don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm not sure if it can go in the laptop that I stole the RAM from. It might be able to. Oh, what was, what's the CPU in there? I can't remember. I don't know if it's the same socket. But they're quarter drives. Um, now, nah, I think the CPU in there is smaller. This is a lot big. I think this is bigger. Um, yeah. So, thermal paste. And let's get it all back together. Exciting. Okay. So... Thermal paste time. Just 
get a bit on. Draw three to tell me whether this is too much or too little. It shouldn't really matter. It shouldn't hurt having too much, but I'm not an expert on these things. Maybe it does does cause problems, but I've gave it that much. Um, let's just sort of chuck the heat sink back on. Um, get the cable back in. There we go, and let's get the screws back in. Do I actually unscrew these screws or have they been held in by something else? I think they were actually just being held in by the screws on the back, right? So I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, there were screws there, so I should probably just quickly confirm. Um, yeah, it didn't say anything with these screws so I'll do the back um that's gonna be exciting trying to hold this bit on I could do this as I, as I've said earlier but I'm actually just not gonna bother I'm really lazy so see in a bit probably when it's fully reassembled all right here's all of the screws apart from the minus the CPE screws because I've screwed them in also there is warranty void void if um, broken or whatever it said, you know, that classic line. But yeah, there's a lot of screws and there's a lot of dust, as you can also see, because um, number one, the light is right there, but also number two, there's a lot of dust. So yeah. Okay, so everything that needs to be plugged in should be plugged in. That does not sound good. Uh, that sounds like a CPU issue. Uh, thankfully, four screws. But not thankfully, I'm now going to have to undo the screen which took like five minutes to get on because it fell down twice. It can't be like the LCD temperature sensor not being plugged in right. Surely the thing <laughs> of course this has to go wrong oh it's a ram issue but i don't remember the beeping noise sounding like that on like my power pc max um um there shouldn't be problems. This is same RAM. Oh, it is. <sighs> and I am um, wrong. Thank God for that. Well, I'm still going to have to sc screw stuff in. Oh. Oh, my God. Thank God I prevented myself from wasting quite a bit of time there. Let's be real. Oh, I'm happy. And, you know, it's clearly working because it's showing the Apple logo. Like, it's taking its time to boot, that's for sure. Come on. I don't even know what it's booting into. I can't really remember. It's been a while since I've had this on. Um, yeah, okay. I think I might need to just, like, screw the RAM bit in. Because I think that's why, you know, that beeping happened in the first place. And I did end up accidentally moving the board and it started to beep again. Um, and, yeah, you know, the screen turned off. So, 
clearly this it's struck structurally structural integrity 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 is being compromised i think that's what's happening and not necessarily ram like the bad ram if that makes sense uh, so yeah i shall screw it back in let's go i've got my 400 megahertz intel core 2 duo cpu and um, for those other way i should probably mention this um it's basically uh, the chipset doesn't read you know the cpu speed correctly um so it's not actually 400 megahertz don't worry um it's just you know saying that um i guess now what i should do is shut it down also the bad news is my mighty mouse seems to be balked it it doesn't work i thought it was a problem with that laptop but it seems like my mighty mouse is balked the light's on but can't do anything with it which is exciting whoa my favorite mouse favorite apple mouse has just completely died um yeah so i guess time to shut this down and reassemble properly with screws and stuff you know because it's already really sensitive and stuff but yeah it's upgraded it took way too long and yeah not the most fun experience let's just say that also i think this fan's going crazy because of the lcd temperature not being plugged in i think and hopefully no other reasons or at the very least make them be reasons that are easily accessible the way it is behind the screen because I will have to remove the screen because there's screws I need to screw back in and stuff. But hey, uh, something at least, I guess. But look at this horrible mess. It's not shining down, I'm just going to force shut it down. But yeah. Uh, let's get to work. Okay, so apart from the um, RAM door, everything's reassembled well enough um yeah the only thing that i haven't really assembled well um now there really should be only i think two screws and that should be from the little bluetooth module um but as you can see there's a bit more that screw i couldn't get in it's like one down there for the metal bit but it's only one screw missing it's not going to cause too much and then the rest of the screws i don't really know <coughs> but yeah <coughs> it is quite late it took me way longer than i expected if i'm being honest but it's done now so i guess that's going to be it for today hopefully you enjoyed this and in the next episode we'll actually get down back to the installation stuff so goodbye